Continuing on from the last video, I'm going to work with adjustment layers. In this demonstration, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to build up different effects. You can in Luminar 4 put all the tools and everything onto one layer on top of your image. It is entirely up to you how you work. For me, it depends on the effect that I'm after for the image. In this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you four adjustment layers with just slight effects added to them to get to the final image, which is like taking this image here and turning it into this image here. And that's by using different layers and different adjustment layers in this case. It's just to help you get familiar with what you can do with the software. Yes, as I said, you can build them all into your original layer and you can turn them on and off, which I'll show you how to do during the video, or you can build them up because once you build them up, you have the choice of the opacity as well that you can apply to an entire layer. So without further ado, let's dive right in and show you how to do this. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do with this image before I add the adjustment layers is just tweak it ever so slightly. So the first thing I'm going to do is pull back the blue in the sky. I'm going to pull the saturation back and I'm going to pull the luminance back just to around there because I want to deepen, the, I want to darken the top area of this image. Next thing, I'm going to get into AI Enhance and I'm going to push that slightly. I'm looking at the details around here plus also the details in the branches. Next thing, AI Structure. Tweak that. Anything else I see in here that I want to adjust, I would do it now and there's only one more thing that I want to do for this image and I am going to go into the Autumn Effect. And I'm just going to push that to around there. If I take it any further, it darkens the image too much. Possibly at the end, I may go back and adjust it to there. But for now, I'm going to set it around there. Okay, what you do now is you get into your adjustment layers. And what we're going to do, instead of adding all the edits to one layer, we're going to add them in a couple of adjustment layers. So this is how we're going to do it. Next thing is add new adjustment layer. And in this new adjustment layer, it's asking me if I want to blend normal or I can go right through dark and multiply color burn, everything within there, right? I'm going to leave it at normal. The first thing is sun rays, because you can see I've already got a sun ray there. I've got a slight starburst, but it's not the final image that I was after. I took that in another one. I'm going to edit for this one. I'm editing one before I got the image I was after, just to show you how you can affect this. So I'm going to get into sun rays, place sun center, drop it where I know the sun is, and then I'm going to turn up the amount. Right, what I'm looking for when I do this is I'm looking for the sun rays to collaborate with where the sun is actually striking and is, is lighting up the moss here. So I'm just going to tweak these to get to the point. I'm going to turn the sun radius down. And you'll see the starburst just in there beginning to move through. If I move it around, you possibly see it. So we've got the starburst there of it happening. I'm going to turn the glow amount down just now. The warmth is fine. The penetration is fine. I may adjust the amount, and each time that I adjust the amount in these, I'm watching where the sun rays are falling. So there's one coming down here, there's a few coming past here, so that one there actually works quite well with that, but I've got nothing coming down around here at the moment. So, what I'm going to do now is adjust the number of sun rays, and you'll see a rotation happening when I do that. Now, it doesn't always mean you'll get it perfect with this, but you may get something that works well with your image. And if you're not too sure or too confident when you're doing this, turn up the amount and turn up the penetration so that you can see where the sun rays are going. We want this to be subtle, though. We don't want it to be too in your face for this edit, this style of editing. So I'm just moving these round until I get a set of sun rays 
that I'm actually quite happy with. Around there, I quite like the effect that that's coming through. I'll then turn the penetration of the sun rays down and the amount. The length of them I may extend. I actually know I'll bring them back slightly and I'll push the penetration of them. Because if you go too far, what ends up happening is that and they all bleed together. So remember this is us just looking at different elements using layers and adjustment layers though. So I'll leave it at that for the purpose of this. So that one there, I could leave that as my sun rays. I'm also going to add the mystical look to this. So I'll just bring that in. Remembering that each time, if I'm not happy with anything, I can either go in and delete the entire edit of this layer or reset the edits. It just depends on how you work. So I'll push the shadows. No, I'll leave them quite dark. Right, so the mystical there, I can take that further and further. And we'll take it to around there for this edit. Next thing, I've got texture of glow, film grain or fog. But the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new adjustment layer just to show you how they work. A new adjustment layer here. And for this adjustment layer, I am going to get into light. And I'm going to add a tiny bit of smart contrast. I'm then going to go down. And again, I can add more AI structure to this. I'm not going to. But I can. In fact, I am. I'm going to leave it there. Because we are building these up, uh, we can add, for example, that AI enhance there. And then I can pull the opacity of it back. So whatever edit I make to a layer, I can add it and turn the opacity down just to get the final effect that I'm after. I'll go back in here and I am going to go to the colour. The blues are starting to show through again. So I'm going to pull the luminance back in these and I'm going to pull the saturation back. That I'm a wee bit happier with. Take in colour. Would I go in and add more mystical? I can if I want. Because it's in a separate layer. Instead of going in and adding it say you add 20 and adding it at 40 I can build these up via different layers for this one I'm not going to add anything though I can then go in and add my autumn effect just to around there so what we brought in was that image there we've now got this image here which is the same image but just with more effects added to it. And to be honest, I actually prefer the edited effect for the example of this video. I may go in and adjust the colours in here, but I'll do it just in a separate layer again, just to show you that you can do it. As I say, you can do these all in one layer and reset them. For me, I prefer building up layers, and that way I know if I want to add just a slight effect on a certain item I can just add it with that layer and I've got the opacity or the blending modes that will just work for that effect that I've done. So I'm going to add a new adjustment layer. In this I am going to go in and pull, use the colours, the yellows here. So for this I could change the hue of these. So you'll see them changing, getting warmer, vibrant green. It depends what I want to do. So for the purposes of this video I'm going to take them over to the warmer side. You can see here in the trees, if I go to the before and after, watch the difference in those trees there. So just by doing that, we've added even more depth because we've taken it over to the, we've shifted the hue and taken it into the warmer tones there. I am then going to push the saturation just to see. I'll take it back just as so you can see the difference, but I'm going to push the saturation slightly. And that's that. So here we have the before and the after. Before and after. As I've said before, I always do that twice. I don't know why. But we've got now an entirely different effect on the image just by adding one, two, three adjustment layers. For a fourth one, 
And the final one, what I'll do, new adjustment layer, and I'll go into the Pro panel, and I'll go for an adjustable gradient. The top exposure I'm going to bring down, and you can see that happening already. The bottom exposure, I'm going to lift. And if you go too far, you end up with too, too much vibrancy within an image, depending on how you've edited it. We also can go in and set the orientation of this. So I could take it to around there and fade out the effect. Because if you notice what it does with the sun, I don't want too much within this. But I'm going to leave that at that. The bottom, I could add more warmth if I wanted. And we get a nice effect there. Again, I'll turn off orientation and I'll show you the before and after. So although that didn't take too long, it now lets you see that I've got one, two, three, four adjustment layers on top of my original image. I can turn any one of these layers off. And you should see slight variations in each one that I turn off. So the entire image will change there. That layer there contained the sun rays. So you see the difference, the massive difference that made there. And as I say, you can go in to any of your layers. And I'll just do it in the top layer for this. So you can go into any of your layers and you can turn it off there as well. Turn it back on. Or I can reset what I've done there. So for me, my workflow, I prefer building up the layers so as that I can adjust everything individually. At times I'll just go in and edit the entire image within one or two layers. Other times when I want to build up the effect of the image, I'll go and I'll add new adjustment layers each time. Hopefully that lets you see what you can do with the layers. As I I'm going to stress you can do all this in one layer, on your original JPEG layer, RAW layer, whatever way you work. You can do it there and you can turn them on and off. Depends what you want to do with your image. If you're a Photoshop user, you know that you will build using layers. So why not use Luminar 4 to do the same thing? It allows you to adjust certain elements, to turn off certain elements, to just get the look of the image the way you want it for your final realisation of it. I mean, the image I've used is not the greatest of images. That's why I chose it. Just to show you what you can do with a very, very mediocre, in fact, this a mistake of an image. This was a test shot before the actual final shot. So it's just to show you what you can do with it. There'll be more videos coming up using layers and in the meantime I've got a couple of videos to drop in in between, let's say, part three of the layers. So I'll get them. They'll just be quick edits. They'll just be single image edits. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Big thumbs up if you did. If you're currently not a subscriber, why not check out some videos below and then consider subscribing. Thanks again for watching.